Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. What if I guess today is this week's event to reset? Like always, if you're looking for anything specific, check out the description below. There's going to be timestamps over there, so finding things is going to be much easier. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Starting off first, you want to check out the special blueprint vendor down in the terminal, and the first thing you want to look at is this small grid blueprint. This thing is an awesome thing to have on your character if you are new, if you're coming back. Even if you are a veteran, you don't have a good grip on your guns with like 20% critical hit damage, uh, reload speed, accuracy, stability, anything like that. Again, you could just buy yourself this blueprint and craft a Gatoro one, and again, see if you can get lucky. Moving down in one spot, you want to check out this Pro Red Outside blueprint, and this is the same case as with the group blueprint. If you are new, if you're coming back, you don't have a good scope on your weapons. Um, again, I would recommend buying this instead of going out and farming for one. You could just buy this, craft it, and see if you can get lucky with a god roll one. Last but not least, you want to check out the stamina and this performance gamer blueprints. If you are one of those people that just makes multiple builds, you experiment with builds, having these things on your character is really smart. Um, again, instead of going out and farming for those weapon mods or those uh, gear mods as with these gear mod blueprints, you could just have them on your character, craft whatever you need, and not waste time doing missions, killing bosses, and uh, just pretty much get whatever you need instantly with crafting. So again, if you don't have any of those blueprints, I would recommend buying them 100%. Up next, you guys want to visit the Autumn's Hope safe house, and what he's actually selling is a prototype performance mod that is a 4% sticky bomb damage mod. If you guys are making a tactician build with like sticky bombs for PvE, like the legendary missions or incursions, anything like that, you want to pick up this mod 100%, it is a maxed out one. Um, it's pretty much going to make your sticky bombs do a little bit more damage. If you pair this up with a high tactician build, as I said, your damage and that build is going to be much, much better with these mods. So again, this is located at the Autumn's Hope safe house. Dante's Run safe house is next on my list, and what he's actually selling is a prototype performance mod that is a 6% first aid ally heal. If you guys are making a reclaimer build, if you're making a tactician healer build, this mod is really good to use, it's going to make your heals that much better, you're going to help out your teammates a lot. And if you are using this for like legendary missions and incursions, you guys know that using a good healer build is really smart and really helpful. So if you don't have these mods, if you are missing them for your build, 100% pick them up. The special blueprints vendor at Kim Clinton is next on my list, and the only thing you want to check out from him is this firearms scream out blueprint. Again, like I was saying, if you do make multiple builds, if you do... Try out different builds every now and then. I would recommend buying this blueprint, even if you don't have, um, you know, too many builds that rely on firearms gear mod blueprints. It's still better to have this than not. So, um, if you're missing this, if you don't have this, definitely buy it. And last but not least, you want to check out this um, liberator at the special equipment vendor, still at Kim Clinton. And what it comes with is 90% enemy armor damage, 262 gear score, and for the talents, it has responsive, predatory, and skilled. This, in my opinion, could be a really good backup weapon for both PvP or PvE. Uh, for PvE, if you want to use this, keep responsive, keep predatory. Uh, the only thing you really have to do is get rid of skilled, go for destructive, go for something like ferocious, and it will be pretty good with like a strike build. Um, if you want to use this for PvP as your backup, pretty much reroll skilled, get something like unforgiving, maybe vicious, and again, this will be an awesome pickup. Next up, you want to start with the Cavern Safe House, and what he's selling is a prototype stamina mod that is a 3% damage elite mod with 186 stamina. If you guys are missing this for your PvE builds, I do understand it, it is not a maxed out mod, and it's not a 4% mod, but if you are still missing this for, for your PvE uh, builds for like legendaries, incursions, resistance, underground, anything like that, this mod is still worth to pick up, so again, this is located at the Cavern Safe House. Moving on, we're stopping by the Madison Stay and Safe House, and what he's actually selling is, yes, another Damage Elites mod. This time, it is a 208 Electronics mod, um, so right there, you guys have a choice. If you want to make one with um, a Stamina, go to the Cavern Safe House, pick up those mods. If you want to make a build with Electronics and use a bit more Electronics, um, then this one is pretty good as well. Also, it is above 200 Electronics, which isn't too bad. Um, unfortunately, it is still 3%, but, you know, if you're in need of this, definitely check out this vendor. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to stop by is the East 61st Street Checkpoint. And what he's actually selling is a pretty nice small grip. Um, if you guys don't want to buy the blueprints as I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, 
You want to check out this one, and this one's pretty good. It comes with 18% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and a 4.50% optal range. Unfortunately, you are missing the reload speed, um, but again, it's not that big of a difference. Um, so if you want to check this out, if you want to use this on your weapons, if you have a worse one, then definitely pick this thing up. Moving down, you want to stop by the Park Avenue checkpoint, and what he's selling is a pretty nice Tactical Super 90. What it comes with is 329.50% stagger, 265 gear score, and for the talents it has deadly, sustained, and responsive. This in my opinion is an awesome pickup for a PvE, a kind of shotgun striker build if you are using this for like legendaries or just normal missions, you're going to be melting, you're going to be doing so much more damage, and you're going to be stacking your striker way way faster. Um, again, for PvP I wouldn't really recommend this, but for PvE it's really good so uh, you know try this out, and for the talents I would recommend getting rid of sustained, uh, go for something like destructive, ferocious, unforgiving, even vicious if you want, and once again, this will be doing so much more damage, and uh, it, it's, it's really going to benefit you with your striker build. Up next, we're stopping by the East 53th Street checkpoint, and the first thing you guys want to look at is this 4% ballistic shield damage mod. If you guys are using a uh, defense build for PvP or PvE, I would recommend trying these mods out, although I do think the ballistic shield damage resilience mods are a little bit better. Um, again, if you want to test them out, if you want to use them, Maker Shield do a bit more damage with your heads uh, than these mods are for you. And also, they are god roll. Uh, so once again, if you want to experiment with them, try these mods out. And one spot down, you want to check out this magazine. This is a very, very good magazine for pretty much your submachine guns or even your ARs, but it, it is missing critical hit chance, so on your ARs, I think it would be not that good. Um, but for SMGs, this is 100% they must pick up if you don't have it already. So what it comes with is 120.50% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 5.60% rate of fire. Again, this magazine is very, very good. It is 0.50% magazine size from being a god roll, so 100% pick this thing up if you don't have it already. If you're looking for a pulse critical hit chance mod, you want to stop by the East 42nd Street checkpoints. He's actually saying one, it is a 2% one, which is maxed out. So if you guys are making a PvP build, if you're making a PvE build, you want to do a bit more damage. These mods are really, really good, although you have to run a pulse with them to pretty much activate them. Uh, but again, if you're using a pulse already, using these mods is going to be really smart for your critical hit chance. So once again, they are located at the East 42nd Street checkpoint in the dark zone. The East 34th Street checkpoint is next to my list, and what he's actually selling is, yes, another magazine, but this time it is a 118% magazine size with 3% critical hit chance and 4% critical hit damage. Unfortunately, it is missing the rate of fire, but if you guys are using a, uh, a build with like a sniper or something like that, if you just want pure damage, pure critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and also good magazine size, this magazine is for you, although I do think the rate of fire is a bit more beneficial for pvp um, again if you are a different type of player if you like using these magazines then this one is very very good and once again it is located at the east 34th street checkpoint last but not least you want to stop by the west 31st street checkpoint still in the dz and what you want to check out is this prototype firearms mod what it comes with is 263 firearms and 3069 health now although the firearms isn't maxed out this mod is still pretty good the health is almost maxed out so um, again, if you guys are looking for this, 100% check it out. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.